all four of the seasonal studies from Treehouse Nature Study. This is a curriculum that was designed with family style learning in mind. It's a gentle guide to walk you through 52 weeks of seasonal themes. Now, whether you've just purchased this or you are curious and looking into it, I'm gonna show you from start to finish the breakdown of what this curriculum looks like, everything that's included in it, and how I personally prepare for our nature study each week. So with that said, let's dive into it. Now, one of the beautiful things about this curriculum is that no matter what season you purchase, whether it's all four or just a singular one, it's going to be very similar in the outline and the way that it is set up. You'll also receive the same types of materials just for different themes and seasons. So right here we have the student worksheets and this is the teacher guide bundled and ready for you to go. To start, we have our teacher's guide now. Like I said, they're all very similar. You have spring, autumn, summer, and winter. But today we're going to go through the autumn guide. So to start, every single one of them will have the table of contents. You have a little bit of an introduction here. And as you can see, you have an overview and it's going to walk you through the contents of what you will find in these student sheets and the outline when you see the week to week breakdown of what your schedule is going to look like. With each week, you'll have it very similar to see in the week one right here, you have everything broken down. So first you will have your folk songs, a hand rhyme, poetry. You'll see your picture study, nature study, book basket, and nature connections. Everything in this intro is going to help walk you through getting started. You'll find the master book and materials list. And on the next page, we have the guide for nature notebooking. Now, if you're new to nature notebooking, this will come in handy to kind of give you an understanding of what that looks like for different levels. So in the top up here, you have level one, two, three, and four, and it gives you a breakdown of what that might look like for different ages of preschool and kinder, early elementary, upper elementary, and middle school. Then the last page of your intro before you get into the gist of the curriculum, you will find your picture study guide on here you'll have your hide and describe and it'll give you kind of a breakdown of what that really means. And then you'll also have your picture study starter questions. And you'll see this in just a bit as we cover the weekly schedule. Each week we have a two page spread. Sometimes there will be an extra page following behind, whether that's a recipe or instructions, but for this week, it's just these two pages. Now this is going to give you a breakdown of each of the pages that you'll receive in your student sheets. So we have the folk song, hand rhyme, poem, picture study, the list of books that you can find for your book basket, as well as references from the Julia Rothman anatomy books and the handbook of nature study. Then we have the nature connection materials as well as extra display sheets that will come with this week's student sheets. All of these are stored in here, but they are loose papers. Now I actually went ahead and I already moved this week's student sheets into our morning menu. You can either put them in a morning menu like I've done, or you can display them in your homeschool space however you'd like. It's really up to you. For us, morning menus just keep the pages nice and clean and safe, not bent from the little ones, and all in one spot for us to access easily every single day. So I like to keep ours in order. I keep the book list printed on the front page over here just to access easily, and it gives the breakdown of each week as well. So when I go to place our orders and holds for our library books, I have everything in one nice and neat spot. Then I have everything in order. You have our folk song, the hand rhyme, the poem, the picture study, and then your extra display sheets. Now, as you can see here, I'm gonna zoom in just a bit for you to see a little bit clearer. You have Monday through Friday, You'll have a folk song, hand rhyme, poem, picture study, your nature study book basket, and nature connections. Now, you don't have to do it in this order, but it's going to show you just the breakdown of what it's going to look like each day if you are following this. The beautiful thing about this curriculum is that it is designed to be very much so open and go. So if you want to just have something that's ready for you and you can just follow along, you can absolutely follow in this order and open and go. The folk songs for the season are organized in a Spotify playlist as well as the hand rhymes. They are also on the YouTube channel and a specific playlist based off of the season. You can go through these. They're very similar and simple to just follow along, read the lyrics or sing the song and same with the hand rhyme. With the poem, you can see a different breakdown for each day of what you're going to do, what you're going to discuss 
and the questions that you might ask and the tasks that you might complete with these poems as well as the picture study. The nature study book basket, you will pull whatever books you can find. You don't have to find all of them. There's no pressure for any of that. These are just supposed to be beautiful additions to your curriculum and your theme for the week. And then you follow up with your nature connections. Now here you can see that we have different things each day as well. The two things that you will find that are consistent throughout, not just the weekly schedule, but as well as all of the nature study seasons is that on Wednesdays and Thursdays are always going to be nature notebooking. The Monday, Tuesday, and Fridays are going to be the days that you have different activities, whether it is a field trip going somewhere, a scavenger hunt, a poetry tea party, anything else, it's always going to be a little different from the week prior, which makes it, again, fun, interactive, and enjoyable for everyone in your family. So now that you've gotten a quick overview of what the curriculum looks like and everything that's included with it, I'm gonna show you a quick walkthrough of what it looks like to prepare for a simple week in your studies. So I already showed you what it looks like of having everything included in the morning menu. I also keep a book basket and this is where I store everything. So I have our morning menu, I have our teacher's guide, included in there as well. So everything is just in one nice clean space together and ready to go each day that we are going to do our studies. Everything stays in there and then it'll go back into one of our shelves back behind me and then it's ready to go. Nice and easily accessible every single morning. So now that we have everything organized, what does it actually look like to set up a lesson for a week's theme? I'm gonna go ahead and show you a quick walkthrough of what that looks like for our home and how I incorporate the books and everything else into setting up and preparing for one week with our Treehouse Nature Study. So one of the things that I personally love to incorporate into our um, kind of tablescape when it comes to setting up the lesson for the week is two of these books that have to do with nature, the slow down book and then the, this is a poetry book that's called Outside Your Window. I absolutely love these books. They just add something extra to the table as the kids come to sit down. They're nice big books too. And so it's just something that really draws their attention. Now, one of the books that my kids absolutely love that came from the book list is the If You Go Down to the Woods Today. So I'm gonna have this out, but I'm gonna have it tucked to the side. One of the things that I like to do when it comes to setting up our lesson is to be able to have everything that we're going to be doing with the curriculum in the center. Everything else is a beautiful addition to it. So I'll have our morning menu laid out and we'll just go page by page. Depending on the age range, you can have them read along with you. You can have them read the poem to you. You can read it to them. There's such a variety of ways that you can go about it and it really is beautiful with the family style of learning to be able to just have it cater to what fits best for your family. So I keep everything nice and open. We'll just flip through and as we listen to the song, as we go through the hand rhyme, we'll just flip the page. It gives the kids something to look at. We also have our copy work off to the side here as well, ready to go for the kids and then we will finish off with our zoo hunt at the end of the week when we go as a family. So we'll keep this out here, ready for them. If you have a stand, you can prop the menu up on a stand for them to be able to see and view the picture while they do the picture study. It's entirely up to you, however you'd like to display it. But for us, we're gonna keep this nice and centered in the middle. I keep the teacher guide just always either bookmarked, but off to the side for me to be able to just glance at whenever I need to peek at what we're doing, what we're talking about, maybe look at the questions for the picture study, any of that stuff will stay off to the side. So you can either choose to have everything displayed all at once every single day or maybe pick a book or two that you take at a time. And finally, one of the things that I absolutely love about this curriculum is that it does give you opportunities depending on how you are incorporating it into your own homeschool journey and style, you can add on to it in different ways. For us, not only do we use this at home, but we also use it in a homeschool group setting. So like you saw in the beginning with the different outlines of how to use this for preschool, kinder, early elementary, all the way to upper middle school, you can also use this curriculum with homeschool groups and co-ops. And for me personally, I use this in a homeschool group as well as at home with the kids. And so one of the things that I like to do is I also like to add on with extra activities because we are there for an extended period of time. We like to draw out as 
much that we can from the curriculum each week. So there are little things that you can add in addition to it. There's so much that you can expand on, whether it's diving into more books that you find, different poetry books, or different activities. One of the beautiful things that we love is that there's so many resources out there that you can tap into. So from having different types of games that you would play, additional activities on top of the nature connections, there's so much that you can dive into from having animal figurines that complement your study so well or finding cute masks that you can incorporate and give to the kids to play with afterwards to really be able to embody everything that they learned. There's so much that you can do with this curriculum. If you're interested in any of these seasons or even all four of them, each season has its own free week that you can download and try out. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you love this curriculum.